um, Tinubu is a bacha. He is an usurper <laughs> of the people's <laughs> will. That is the parallel. He has a stolen mandate on him. Nobody has given him that mandate. He stole it. He bought it. He snatched it. He killed for it, literally. Because nobody gave him that mandate. It is a, it is a procured mandate. That is the, like, that is the similarity between a bacha and a biola. And it's, un, and, and, uh, Tinubu. and it's unfortunate. And it's actually part of why I said, well, I think I described it as, was it a try? I said, could it? Yes. I said yeah. something about, anyway, key thing is this. Ab Tinubu has tried over the years to be seen as Abiola's alter ego, like the reemergence of Abiola. He has, in fact, at some point sought to appropriate hope as his mantra. But the tragedy is that Abiola is the man that Bola Ahmed Tinubu can never be. No matter what else anyone might have to say about Abiola, he wasn't a criminal. He wasn't a debauched human being. We knew who his father and mother were. We knew what schools he attended. He has provenance. His children are known. We know his history. We know where he came from. To liken Bola Ahmed Tinubu to Abiola is a travesty. In fact, it insults the memory of Abiola to liken Bola Ahmed Tinubu to him. This is the procurer of a stolen mandate. The only parallel in Nigerian history is Abacha. And when I likened this daughtering one that is about to leave now, Buhari, when I liken him to Babangida, it's exactly the same. He's on his way out. He is irrelevant. His time is done. He superintended a process that could have delivered historical change. But he elected with his own hand to become party to the criminality of the man who has procured the mandate fraudulently today. It's amazing that the same man who sat down to kill people to, he was the head of state executing them by uh, Odulope and Oji, Bartolomeo and all, all those two. The same man for drug is the same man that is today assisting a man who has been indicted for laundering drug funds 